So we're in at Vance Steel 2020 and we're going to take a look at the platform cover which comes as part of the Greytech power pack and this is now found under our power pack connection vault and there's obviously a tab here for platform cover and obviously you can see it here obviously we have floor cover as well grating supports grating plates and borders so these were originally all tools that were found on the ribbon but what we've done is we've actually moved them on to this pallet arrangement so it follows the uh, typical advanced steel arrangement of the joints being in a pallet called the connection bolt so I'm uh, just going to flip back and uh, draw some basic construction to start off with so I'm going to create a hexagon here I'm uh, just going to put it in a zero zero point uh, I'm going to do that one I'm going to set that to five meters so that sets out what I want um, I'm going to hopefully uh, sort of draw a, a channel uh, so depending on what so which way around and what I want to use so uh, obviously just remember in advance still the way you draw things sometimes it affects how they're orientated your start and end points are relative so here I'm just going to use our beam from nine I'm just going to select the polyline and uh, I don't want to delete the source line to start off with uh, so we can see the channels come in there. I'm just going to set the positioning for that to take it over to the back and leave it on the top there. Uh, similarly, I probably want to draw a, a beam section next. So I'm going to come from the zero zero point in the middle and I'm going to come across to here. So I'm going to pick on the end there. Now obviously it will remember the positioning from last time. But you can quite quickly adjust that. I'm just going to check the material size here. Yeah, that should be adequate enough for what I want to do. Uh, again, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use the tools palette. And this is the standard Autodesk uh, transform elements command or advanced copy, depending on which country you're in. So here I've obviously got one element selected. I'm going to select the polar array. The center is at the zero zero point. If you're not sure, you can select this to actually go in and pick that point or you can actually type it in again comes back to the dialog i'm going to do six and obviously i know the angle is 60 degrees uh, you can do a preview if you so wish but i'm just going to do that and then go okay uh, similarly you can just uh, copy elements if you so wish you can just do a basic copy selection at this stage because it's quite a simple beam it doesn't have a lot of features attached to it so you can use this as an alternative if you so wish to do it, but I would only recommend this with fairly simple beams. So I'm just putting that in there and obviously putting those in there as some trimmers. Uh, another standard sort of advanced steel tool is the advanced steel trim tool, which is hidden away under here. Right, so trim extend tool. So in this case, we're going to use trim uh, system. Obviously, you're going to select the uh, boundary object here and a boundary object here and then we're going to go about trimming the beam so uh, i can do each one individually i can put uh, a crossing selection across it and then similarly here i can do that one individually if i so want to do the similar sort of thing here to so grab what i want and trim those backs right click to exit the command uh, then similarly i might want to put another beam in here so uh, we could um, draw a beam coming from the center point here and we can come out to the midpoint on here. So we've got that in there. So, and then uh, we might decide that uh, with that beam, we might want to split that. So again, we're just using standard tools here at the moment to create the base of the platform. Uh, obviously these we're gonna select, we're gonna come to some points here. So we're gonna pick these down the edge and these are gonna act as the split points between to actually split the beam itself. And then with that in place, we can see that one didn't quite get that properly on the end. So we could use the trim tool again. Uh, so to trim system, uh, pick the boundary beam and just get the end of that and get rid of that. So with that in place, uh, again, we might want to uh, populate that. So we can select these either individually or with a crossing selection. in here so i'm just going to pick those up again and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go back to my transform elements and again i'm going to go back to my polar array obviously the conditions were set before 
Uh, I can do obviously a preview to that. Uh, that's quite quite happy with that. So go OK to that. So uh, quite quickly, we can get to some form of a, a basic structure that might uh, we might be requiring. Uh, so me uh, now we can go and just uh, apply the platform cover so we can come into the connection vault for advanced steel under the great tech part so this is the great tech connection vault here so we click the platform cover I'm going to go with beams I'm going to select the perimeter beams here and just going to select a point inside do I want to split the cover? Yes, and do I want it to do it to beams? So I'm going to pick the beams down here. So you can put crossing selection over them, but I've done this, so it's uh, quite easy to do that. Right click to confirm that command. So it will pull something in from the macro. There's no library entry set in here at the moment. So I'm just going to set up what I want here. So I'm going to obviously put that in as minus five gap between the cover. So you can see the elements changing over on the left there. Uh, also, I can change this to gratings. So quite quite quickly, we've got that in place. And then similarly too, uh, if you wanted to copy this round, you, again, you could come back to your transform elements, standard advanced steel tool, go back to your polar array, and you can just copy that round quite quickly by arraying it around the center point in the model. So with that in place, we have actually very quickly created a platform with a cover and it was not a standard shape or it wasn't square. These are actually all individual panels that have been split and shaped using our platform cover tool.